Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve two more problem on the topic profit on incomplete contract. So we have already solved two problems on this topic. Now let's start the problem number three. From the following information, calculate the amount of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. Contract price. 9 lakh, work certified, 6 lakh, cash received, that is 80% of work certified, amount is 4 lakh 80,000, notional profit 66,000. So in this problem, what they have given? Contract price, work certified, cash received and notional profit. And we have to calculate the amount of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. Before starting the solution, we have to see which condition is applied to this problem. So first condition is, if the work is just started or the work certified amount is less than the one fourth of contract price, no amount is transferred to profit and loss account. Yes, so we will calculate the one fourth of contract price. So contract price is how much? Nine lakh. So we'll take this nine lakh and calculate the one fourth of this nine lakh. And work certified amount is how much? Six lakh. So calculate nine lakh into one fourth. We will get two lakh twenty five. Thousand, correct. One fourth of contract price is two lakh twenty five thousand. Now compare this two lakh twenty five thousand to work certified amount. Work certified amount is six lakh. So the work certified amount is more than the one fourth of contract price. So first condition is not applied here because first condition what it say that. If the work is just started or the work certified amount is less than one fourth of contract price, no amount is transferred to profit and loss account. Here, work certified amount is more than one fourth of contract price. So, first condition is not applied. Second, second condition is if the work completed is one fourth or more but less than half of the contract price then two third of notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account so now we'll calculate the half of the contract price contract price is 9 lakh into half 9 lakh into half how much you will get 4 lakh 50000 so compare this 4 lakh 50,000 to 6 lakh. So 6 lakh is more than the half of the contract price. So second condition is also not applied because the work certified amount is more than half of the contract price. So third condition is if the work certified is half or more than half. Yes, our work certified amount is more than half. No. So half of the contract price is 4 lakh 50,000 and work certified is 6 lakh. So the contract price, the work certified amount is more than the half of the contract price. But it should be less than 3 fourth of contract price. So calculate the 3 fourth of contract price. 9 lakh into 3 fourth. You will get 6 lakh. 75,000. 9 lakh into 3 fourth you will do and you will get 6 lakh 75,000. So here third condition is applied because our work certified amount is more than half but less than 3 fourth of contract price. So third condition what it is? If the contract price is half or more than half but less than three-fourth of contract price, then 
टू थर्ड ऑफ नोशनल प्रॉफिट इज ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सो इन दिस करेंट प्रॉब्लम द वर्क सर्टिफाइड अमाउंट इज मोर देन हाफ बट लेस देन थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस सो विल स्टार्ट दी सोल्यूशन गॉट नो हियर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम थर्ड कंडीशन इज अप्लाइड सोल्यूशन कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट to be transferred to profit and loss account and the formula is profit and loss account is equal to 2/3 into notional profit into percentage of cash received okay two formulas are there either you can take percentage of cash received or cash received divided by work certified okay you can take percentage of cash received or in place of percentage of cash received you can write cash received divided by work certified so in last problem i have solved the problem in both the methods by taking both the formulas so here i have taken this percentage of cash so whichever is easy to you take that formula and solve the problem so the formula is profit and loss account is equal to 2/3 of notional profit into percentage of cash received same 2/3 we will write notional profit so in this problem notional profit is 66000 take here 66000 into percentage of cash received so here 80% they have given take that 80% first calculate this part 66000 into 2/3 you will get 44000 into 80% so directly you can take 80% otherwise you can calculate calculate like this also 44000 into 80 divided by 100 44000 into 80% you will get 35200 clear means out of the 66000 notional profit is 66000 no so from this 66000 35200 rupees is transferred to profit and loss account that is profit and loss account 35200 so this 35200 is transferred to profit and loss account and remaining to reserve So total notional profit amount is sixty six thousand. Correct. In that prof to profit and loss account, we have transferred how much thirty five thousand two hundred. So remaining is thirty thousand eight hundred. This is transferred to reserve. So right here reserve thirty thousand eight hundred, and the total of these two we will get 66000 that is total notional profit got all of you this problem 